Origins create beginnings. They are fresh starts invigorated by the potentialities of all that may become. Beginnings are first steps on a path whose direction and destination cannot be anticipated. Beginnings are built on foundations for what will grow and become. Yet don't we bring our past to all that we begin? Is not our vision of the future colored by our previous experiences? Longitudinal research helps us answer these questions by collecting data from groups of people over time. It helps us understand how life unfolds over time with continuity and sometimes abrupt changes. It also gives us an understanding of how our personal traits interact with our experiences to help us become who we are. In the 1930s, a longitudinal study began at Harvard University with 238 students whose lives were forevermore studied. Dr. George Valiant was a young psychiatrist at the time this study began, and he has remained with it throughout the duration of his career. Today, after decades of research, when he is asked what has been learned from this study, from the men who are now in their ninth decade of life, he's able to summarize a response with five simple words. Happiness is love, full stop. And love is characterized by relationships. This study has shown us that the quality of relationships are related to health, to earnings, to professional success, and to happiness in old age. Further, after years of analyses of data, Dr. Valiant tells us that the warmth of your relationship with mommy matters long into adulthood. And what are the origins of these relationships? How do they begin? The logical place to look for an answer to this question is the baby, the youngest of all babies, the newborn. The emergence of this new baby into a world so new to him was observed by his teary-eyed, moments-old father, who wrote, he, with eyes squeezed tight, reached out for his mom. The beginnings of the behaviors of relationship. These words reveal so much. We have all known the joy of putting our finger into the hand of a newborn baby and feeling those little fingers squeeze upon our own. In the past, the newborn was seen as an organism with reflexes to respond, as we know in the baby's grasp of our hand. But we now know that the baby is more than those reflexes. We think now of the baby as experience expectant. Let's look at this little baby. Yes, she's grasping a finger, but she's anticipating a response from the person who's attached to that finger. She's ready with animation to join into a conversation that will involve social interaction. A look into the brain helps us understand this behavior that we can observe. In the first 18 months, not surprisingly, it is the right hemisphere of the brain that is more advanced and growing faster. And it is this part of the brain that is associated with social behavior and emotions. Then in the next two years, it is the left side of the brain that has a growth spurt. And it's associated with language development and other cognitive abilities. Let's see this in action. Upon hearing a human voice, where will this new baby look? Let's see. The baby will quietly and deliberately appear to hear that voice and then turn his head further and further toward that voice 
and then his eyes will search for the eyes of the person speaking to him. Universally, social connections are made with eye contact, and babies do this moments after birth. The new baby brings to postnatal life the capacity to entice and to sustain the heart of others. But let's see what else he or she may do. It's not a very polite way to interact with a baby, but let's watch to see how he'll respond. The baby will quietly gaze at that face with a very rude expression upon it. He'll slowly find his own tongue, amazingly, and then he will imitate what he sees. Amazing to see this in action, yet what happens next is equally remarkable. The little baby will look quietly and intently upon the face of the person who just made that expression and attempt to provoke a continuation of the interaction. This little baby wants the game to continue. Interactions mold relationships, and relationships are the threads that are woven together to form a baby's sense of self. We're intrigued by a baby's ability to imitate gestures, but new babies will reflect more than just those gestures. They'll reflect the emotions of those with whom they interact. We can look on the face of a new baby and predict if that baby is looking at a surprised, a happy, or a sad face. Let me challenge you to see if you can do this too. What face is this baby looking into? Tell me. <laughs> it's a surprised face. And this one? What face? A happy face. Now, let's look at this face. What face is that baby seeing? It's a sad face. But let's think about the importance of what this image tells us. There's the old adage, smile and the world will smile with you, cry and cry alone. How a baby immediately imitates the expression of sadness needs to draw our concerned attention. What will continued connection between a baby and a depressed mother do to this baby's sense of the world and his sense of himself? Sad but not surprising, new babies will reflect the melancholy of mothers with postpartum depression. Remarkable, but sadder still, are the behavioral, physiological, and hormonal traits observed in babies whose mothers were depressed during pregnancy. Yes, relationships begin before birth. From the outside of their little bodies, or excuse me, from the inside of their little bodies to the outside world, babies begin life connected to others. However, as we look at the baby, we must not overlook the connections that parents have with others that will affect their relationship with their baby. Psychoanalyst Selma Freiberg has voiced this reality with these profound words. A mother cannot hear her baby's cry until her own are heard. Cry and cry alone? No, I don't believe so. The message is clear. We are all connected and not separate from our past. To reach babies, we must reach those who care for them. The loom of life contains many strands, but ultimately the quality of early and ongoing relationships support development as it is woven over time. Thank you. <laughs>